Okay, what's going on? Um, I've I've gotten several requests to start back posting on YouTube again, and so in light of that, I figured, what better way than to do an unboxing video? The good thing about this unboxing video is I've actually had I have two pairs of these and. I've been using the other pair for a few weeks now. So yes, these are the black and the masters. Um, if you have been a barber for any time, you know, any decent amount of time, you, know, you remember when Andis came up with these same clippers with the corded version a few years ago. Uh, they were the collect, not collection, um, special edition of them. And for some of us, you know, that, to me, that was the, the best clipper they came out with. You know, they had the red versions, the white versions. I love the black version. So here we go. So when you open the box, this is what you see. It's got pretty good packaging. Um, never had a problem with Anders packaging. You know, you hear people go and rant and rave about the packaging. When most of us, including myself, all we're gonna do is take this packaging and throw it in there. So, if I was a clipper company, I wouldn't put much into the clipper. I mean, into the packaging. Me personally. I like this, how they have it. It looks secure, and it gets the job done. Now, I want everyone to read this part right here. Please do. I mean, I even have my barber shops. I, you know, some people didn't notice. Please don't just tear this off. You know, it does suck to hear a lot of complaints about battery power and battery charging and stuff like that when we don't read the simple instructions. We got to make sure we power them. I mean, charge them fully before we use them. So when you see people take this out the package, rip this off and just turn them on, you know, it's just, you know, it makes me cringe a little bit because if I'm going to spend that type of money on some clippers, I want them to work right and last long. So here are the uh, charging stand. And again, I'm doing it with one hand. Now, one complaint I have straight from the gate, and it's come on now. On the other pair, the gold pair, if I'm not mistaken, came with a black and gold uh, stand where this was black. So the majority of the charger uh, stand was black. Now, the majority of it is silver, which, you know, if this is what you like, great. But I definitely wish they would have went with the black charger stand. But that's, you know, it is what it is. So going through this setup, you know, you get your basic, you know, clipper, introduction of clipper uh, merchandise when you buy clipper. So we'll just pour that out. The one thing that is special, especially to me, is you get the OG zero double magnetic guard guard. But other than that, you get a replacement bracket or internal bracket, um, charger, and some instructions, some oil and lube, and that's that. So now we have that this out that out, out, out the way. Let's talk about the clipper. Now I have the the silver version of these. I have the gold version of these. Um, and I have the black version. I have two black ones. And I will say so far, to me, you know, I'm not just trying to gas them up or anything like that. You know, these are by far the quietest versions of them. Now, I'm guessing it's because they're getting more... Um, you know, advanced through the years, but you know, and we'll talk about this blade here in just a second, but you know, I like them, you know, they're, they're, they're quiet. Now let me see if it does the same thing. Yeah. So just like my other pair, you know, I will go in and tighten this up just slightly. To me, it does a little bit too much movement, but that's an option. That's, that's not something that's to do with them. Um, but yeah, so Definitely quiet. 
I haven't experienced it getting overheated, but at the same time, I haven't experienced really any of mine getting overheated, honestly. So I'm not sure if that's just the same thing as everything else. But this phase blade, um, I don't mind it. Um, it's not a bad blade. I think it's a great blade, honestly. But for me, I prefer the older blade. And as a matter of fact, on the blackout version of the Masters, when they recorded, they had their own black blade. The one thing I didn't like about it is that the paint came off very easily. And I don't know, I haven't used these long enough to see if this will come off as well, but <clears throat> the paint came off of those pretty easy. And once it started chipping, it looked like trash. But I'm still, so far, I'm not um, gonna say this blade is revolutionary or anything like that. I mean, I've used it, it's fine, but it's almost like using a fade blade. You know, it's just about like using a fade blade. So, you know, that side may come out just a little bit possibly, but I'm still, I, I'm, I definitely would like to have a pair, which is why I'm glad I kept my gold version. I got my gold version who have the, the standard blade that's in gold, but these are cool. You know, I'm not going to, you know, I can't knock it. These are, this is, this is a nice blade, but all in all, you know, I like this feel here. It's not slippery. You know, it, it, it it's, it's a pretty um grippy texture now my fear is obviously we use clipper side on our clippers so i do my best to make sure it stays up here when i spray it but just like spraying anything it's definitely gonna have over spray and i don't plan on laying my clippers down and putting the towel on top of this part and doing all the extra stuff i don't plan on doing that plus when you use clippers you go like this here you grab them and chances are you'll leave prints uh, your oil from your hand, or if you have something on it, you know, that you'll, you'll feel that as well. This, you know, area, I believe may still be okay. Um, it doesn't feel like a sticker, but I definitely don't want to start peeling at it to find out. So it feels, you know, it feels pretty good, but, uh, that's literally my review of these. I mean, again, I'm a very avid fan of the masters. One thing I really am waiting on, and I hope somebody from Anda sees this video one day, you know, we're, we're getting to the point to where Stylecraft and, and, and what is the company called? Caliber and all these companies are coming out with magnetic blades with their, I mean, magnetic motors. I'm really hoping, you know, Andis jumps back on board. You know, this, this rotary, this, 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 uh, I want to know what's the they specifically call this. Um, I'll look at it as a rotary motor, but let's see. Yeah, yeah, this rotary motor at 6,500, you know, spins per minute. You know, that's great. But right now, you got Stylecraft, you know, coming out with motors that are magnetic and, or at least some, they, they, they appear to be magnetic. And they're at 10,000 SPM, spins per minute. So, you know, that's over 35, that's 3,500 SPMs more. And that, that makes a difference, you know, again, and then you got your, you know, one and a half hour battery runtime. I would definitely love to see that go up. You know, it's 2024. And as I think this came out, I think the original and this uh, Mag, uh, master, cordless came out in 19, 20, somewhere in there. You know, it's been a few years. You know, I definitely feel like it's definitely due for a upgrade. You know, love the housing, love the housing. Awesome job on the housing, but I definitely would love to see more internal things change about this clipper, mainly the motor and the battery runtime. And hopefully we can get it even quieter. I mean, and as fans like myself, the thing I loved about the original Andes Masters if you, is you really didn't hear anything but hair being chipped off the scalp. It had that crunch sound. It was nice. And I, I'm hoping, Andes, you all are working to get back to that. But anyway, uh, after using these, you know, I'm definitely a fan still. You know, I love the feel, love the texture, love the sound um, as far as a rotary motor is concerned. But I would love to see us getting back to the 
uh, magnetic style, longer runtime, you know, keeping it cool, you know, that, that crunch sound and everything like that. So, you know, that's my, that's my review. Just something small. I know I'm getting back on YouTube. Just kind of did this from the home. Just, you know, impromptu. It just came in the mail again today. So I decided to do it. But anyway, y'all got any questions? Let me know. Um, yeah, but those are my little reviews. Uh, I'm, I'm not, obviously I pay for my clippers. So I'm not, a, I'm not paid to, to say anything. I got my own receipt, you know, um, but you know, this is what it really comes with essentially. And I, again, I still feel like, man, I wish this would have been black. I don't understand how you <laughs> sell the black label version of this with a silver base. I just, man, I, I, that part, I know that it may not bother nobody else, but that, that definitely bothered me. I would have loved to see this in black and then maybe the emblem in silver, just like it is on the master. Like it would have been matching. It's almost like they just took this from another pair and just said, let's throw it in a box, you know, and for the price, you know, but anyway, that's my review. Um, get at me. Okay. Um, I finished my video and uploaded it and realized I never got the chance to let you all hear what the actual master sounded like. So I'm going to redo that and edit this home to there. So here's the sound. too much of a difference but if you can look when i first set my uh clipper my masters to be zero gap this is about where it will stop anyway i had to do adjustment on mine so i did the old school technique because no matter how i did it it only got this far down maybe even there mm, that's probably too much but anyway about right in that area it stopped there and that's because this bracket or this blade is not meant for the zero gap black bracket that the normal blade would have been able to zero gap. So all I did was get the old school method and remove that part there. So I just kind of pulled that off and removed it. Now, mine goes down there. Now that you don't want that far, but about right in that area, just above it. Now, the problem is, it can do that as well. We don't want that. So, I'm gonna end up getting a new, new bracket or get me one that's modified, but until then, I'll keep it up there. So, I know if I'm cutting, it shouldn't be up that far anyway. It's about right, right there is a good happy medium. All right.